Okay, so I've been working on this game for a bit under a month now and I think I can show you my progress so far. First of all, hello and welcome to my first ever devlog. I have to say that since I've already worked on this project for a month now, I unfortunately can't show like every single piece and bit I've already worked on, but I can definitely show what I will be working on and that's what we're gonna do in this video. Okay, so at this point you're maybe wondering what game I'm even working on. Let me present to you Project Alchemist. That's by the way not a finished name, it's just a development name. I don't even have a real name yet, so sorry. It's like if you mix Vampire Survivors and 20 Minutes Till Dawn, and these two had like a f***ing dumb child. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so basically you have your menu here and uh, you can unlock certain upgrades here with the in-game money. Then you can also unlock new weapons. There are currently five weapons in the game, only two in the demo. So basically it's a top-down shooter and you have to kill those enemies. And every now and then you level up and when you level up, you get three upgrades you can choose from. Uh, let's say I want to gain a bit of fire rate and more movement speed when I fire. And yeah, this is basically the game loop. The upgrades get better and better and uh, there will also be more than one boss. And the goal of the game is to survive 15 minutes. This will maybe change to 20, but that's basically the game. What the game missed though was a really good boss. Dude, really good. What the f am I talking about? I thought about it for a little bit and I came up with this idea where at 10 minutes a boss spawns and this boss summons enemies at like an interval of 10 seconds or 20 seconds. And so I went on and implemented it. The first thing I did was to just copy the old enemy controller code, change some values around and there we go. A functional boss. Except it didn't quite work as accepted. What the f- Anyway, I, I just changed one line of code and it suddenly worked. So, yeah, let's go. Currently though, it looks very, very dry when I kill him. And that's why we need to spice it up a little. That's why I made some particles using... You know what I use. I also added that since it's a boss, he should drop more than one XP when we kill him. So when the boss dies, he drops a bunch of XP with a small delay that makes it look like some sort of fountain, I would say. But it looks pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so unfortunately, that's the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, smash the subscribe button. Just, just give it a little, give it, give it a little rub. If you're interested in seeing more, you can always join my Discord. Link is in the description. Once a playable version is finished, I will post it in the Discord. So to stay updated, you should join. Anyway, have a great day and see you in the next video.